I'm working on my clamshell quilt here. Uh, <laughs> taking it's not taking me forever, but I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I'm starting. I got all sorts of suggestions, and I've really, really appreciated them. Um, I'm starting. I had started from the right, and I worked to the left. Well, that made no sense whatsoever. Um, and I, I've done quite a lot. I've done this. This is seven rows down. I've done three entire rows. Um, but I... And then someone said, do it vertically. That didn't work for me because my brain was was at a horizontal. Um, um, my brain is going from do, 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 do. So when I turned it on its side and shifted it and did it this way, it seemed it would make sense, but I was pushing the ruler. Then I tried to do it upside down, and, and that I was sort of working blind. Um, so my best bet has, I've been sh has been... Um, experimenting. I'm doing it now uh, left to right and this way my my hand which as you know is my wonky wrist isn't getting the work out as much as my right hand which is stronger. There are so many things with these rulers that you have to remember. I'm not going to make this a long video. I'm just going to show you just a few things. Um, you have to remember, obviously you don't have a needle down when you're doing this. You have to remember to put your presser foot down um, when you bring up your, when you take your needle down to bring up your bobbin thread. Because if you don't, then this, this, um, th th your thread will smack against this thick foot there. And a couple, and so you have to remember that really, really good. Now, again, and you also have to remember that you're starting a quarter inch away from where your, where your, um, uh, you, 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 where your actual ruler is. The, this is a quarter inch away from here. So, um, and also, <laughs> this is so funny. Um, I'm doing this, and you think, oh, the ruler is absolutely, uh, you know, precise and perfect. A couple of times, my 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 shells here have gotten smaller. I must have shifted my ruler. It it eh, it's it, 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 it's looking good. I'm I'm okay with it. Um, not free. This is not like free motion quoting. This is taking a not a long time. I must say, I'm sticking at it and I'm going. So now what I've done is I'm looking at this point here, um, on my on the top of my clamshell. Hopefully you can see it. I'm alternating on the very top. On the very top. That's where I want to put my next alternating rows. Obviously, you've seen clamshells. So I start there. I think, and then I'm looking, I'm looking at this point here. Now I have 40, I have 95 inches in my, the throat of my quilt because I'm working from left to right, but I I can shift it and I'm, it, you know, I'm, I'm shifting it ever such a lot, but because I'm only working right here and, and that's with it, with the ruler, you're working this, this much at a time. So it's not a fast process, but I can hold it here. Oh, oh, um, also I was having difficulty. My, um, my thread was, was jumping all over and I had skipped stitches. You ha the, the, the foot has to be riding just on top of your quilt. Like when you put your presser foot down, that's what engages the nice, uh, strong stitches here without your thread flying all, flipping all over the place. Well, my, my, when I I had done that, and then halfway through, my I started skipping stitches. But my my, I had to um, tighten this up a little bit. My 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 foot, my actual foot, and now it's nice and taut. So my stitch quality is nice. Now I'm eyeing from this point to this point on the top of my bottom shell here. So I'm holding it. Oh, and another thing. See, it's getting a little bit. A little bit squiffy there. Another thing is when I was saying this before, when when the experts are, are doing their, they do one piece this big, right? They do a solid fabric, right, with a contrasting thread. They've been doing this for like 10 million years, and there's no seams. Did you ever notice that? I noticed it. I think there were there, like this quilt top here has a ton of seams, and so 
it's it's gliding okay. It's it's oh it's all right. I'm like I've done a silicone spray. It's nice. It's okay. But I'm having to pull it and 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 guide it. But like when I come to a seam. It's a little bit hard. Oh, and also, um, the, there's very, very useful, I don't think you can see them, but there's very useful lines, a vertical line right here. And and my I'm lucky enough to have all of these vertical lines on my quilt. And so it, I'm not really using these lines here. I don't know how to do that. But like I am using this vertical line to keep my clamshells nice and straight across uh, I mean, going up and down my quilt here. As you know, I'm working from bottom to top. I don't know why. Uh, that's how I did it, and that's how I'm. 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 I'm now in in it. Now I'm going to hold. I'm just. I'm holding this here and sort of pulling, but I'm holding more so this one, so that this this rides right along the top, and then it's going. Now this is another one that's small. Now I've had to like that. That that's smaller. I don't know what happened there. But it, you can sort of compensate, it, it looks okay. You can sort of compensate for it. But see, I have to push all of that away. See, I mean, I'm, I'm talking away, but I, you're only working with like, what is it, eight, seven inches at a time? Now, I'm, I'm holding it, and now I have to make this one, it does equal out in the end. I have to make this one slightly larger to go to that top. Because I'm, I'm and it shifts all the while. Your quilt, every like few inches, shifts sort of goes crooked it's really weird i mean i i, I like it it's a, it's a nice technique going on the top now see there was a seam and it wasn't the matter of sliding it's a matter of my my seams my seam allowance so again i'm just shoving this i'm just working with this you know literally like three or four inches at a time because all of this it gets easier this is a 90 inch wide quilt. It's ridiculous. I started so ridiculously big. Um, so now, and again, I'm keeping this vertical line sort of vertical, but this one, it does get a little bit better. This one, yeah, that's in the middle. And then I can do one more. See how it's shifting to the top? I mean, it looks good, but every few <laughs> minutes I'm having to shove it <laughs> my shoulders hurt and now and, and and it is nice because it this hand is doing most of the work this one is just sort of guiding it now see now the the, the clamshells turned out the right size I don't know what I did to make them little over here I, I'm not bothered they all they I mean you know take a blind man to see that but like here I am keeping my vertical thing there. And I'm always looking over here. I'm always looking over here to this point, which should be a quarter inch away from the top of my bottom, my, my uh, below row clamshell. See, there's, yeah, see, I'm gonna go back. Oh, I messed up because it, it skipped. It's, it was a hard stitch to get over that seam. Now I should have it a little bit easier because I don't have any seams here. But as you can see, it is not a quick process. I don't know how those experts, like, oh, you know, they whiz along and they, they go do 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 I'm like, I don't know. I like it. I like it. But, um, and I love the effect. I mean, oh my goodness, if I sell this quote, it's going to be like $70 million. I mean, my goodness. Very, um, and, and, labor intensity in my fabric. <laughs> oh, and now, see, that's not quite in the... Now, I have to make this next one a bit bigger to go from there to there. See? Some of them are smaller and some of them are larger. Oh, I don't know. It's in my light. I probably can't even see this at all, the glare. But now I have to compensate to get this point over here to that dome. So what you do, keeping it straight, keeping my vertical straight along the seam, I just sort of continue over until I get to the middle. And then that was a bit bigger. Yeah, I'm getting there. There's just a hunk of fabric there that I have to get over, a big lump. Um, 
I'm 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 loving I'm loving the the end result. I, I hope I don't know if you can see, but it's my whole quilt. Ninety it's ninety five inches of it is going to be clamshells, which is like super, real real pretty. And from a distance, it looks super. I do like the I do like the um I do like the rulers. Um, very hard, not very hard work. A bit tedious and slow going for a beginner beginner, which I certainly am. But a few hints. Um, yeah, a few tips. Be careful of this. You're going to whack that. Um, be, uh, be careful of your foot riding. You have to, it's like a hair trigger there, that foot there. I have put my um, Aurafil 40 weight. It, it, it seemed to be okay. Um, a new needle, top stitch needle, which has a bigger eye, um, which I would use in free motion quilting anyway. So, progress on my clamshells. I will be here forever. So, tune in, folks. See ya.